Hello, Northern Arizona Association of Realtors. I'm Melinda Morfin, your current president-elect, filling you in about the leadership summit early, that I attended earlier this week that was hosted in the beautiful town of Chicago. I traveled with Miss Judy Jackson for this two-day event that our National Association of Realtors holds every year. The Leadership Summit is designed for the Association Executive, your AE, our AE, Ms. Judy J, and the incoming Prez, yours truly. These two-day sessions help prepare us together as we begin planning our ideas and goals for taking the Association into the next year. It's also training and designed for his incoming presidents on how to be effective and productive leaders for our Association. Our role and goal is to truly better serve you. Some of the important leadership elements we focused on were one, learning to be an open, patient, and receptive listener. It's imperative in our role as president and as board members that we and I hear your voice as a member of the association and to actively listen to better serve you. By better listening, we can better understand and support you, thereby trying to implement systems that help you in this industry and in your business. Two, learning to communicate effectively. We have to go beyond listening. We have to be able to share dialogue and ideas, problems and solutions. We practiced some improv scenarios in which we worked on how we use language verbally and specifically based on our audience and the situation. We then honed in on our physical communication skills with a body language coach who actually worked for the FBI on how to interpret others' bodies' language, but also how to be cognizant of our own body language, how to manipulate our body language to ensure the effectiveness of our message and our intent. As they say, it's not just what you say, but how you say it. And three, team collaboration skills, the focus on building and bonding that must occur to truly be a leader that brings out the potential in each individual for a stronger us together. Some of the highlights was being introduced to our National Association of Realtors President-elect Vince Malta from San Francisco. His story was motivating and inspiring. Not only does he have awesome taste in rock and roll music, but he's an overachiever that has served his clients well with his enthusiasm, professionalism, and legal guidance. He offers a progressive approach toward forward with some of the challenges we're experiencing in our real estate from our continuing efforts with home affordability, as well as increasing the protections to current homeowners. The comedic Terry Watson was also there to remind us not to take on anyone's monkey. It's easy in real estate, real estate to sometimes overserve our clients in unproductive ways, maybe taking on too much of their negativity or lack of responsibility, thereby putting their crazy monkey on your back to deal with. Don't take their monkey. Don't let someone else's problems be your solution to remedy. Don't be accountable for someone else's mistakes, just yours. That should be enough. And if you're carrying around somebody else's monkey, give it back. It's not your monkey. And lastly, another presenter, Ron Phipps, impressed upon us that many of us can struggle with in this profession. Being a realtor isn't always easy. It's rewarding many times, yes, but it can also be very taxing. Don't let it affect who you are to yourself and to others. He said, make sure that your family gets the best of you, not what's left with you of you. And with that, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, please feel free to reach out to me or our board members and association. I'm Melinda Morfin, your 2020 president, and here's to your success. Have a good day.